Welcome back to Simbrai Fashion Academy YouTube channel for another interesting tutorial. So today's tutorial will be the making of a graduation sash. So as you can see right there on the thumbnail, we have a graduation sash. So in, in case you want to produce a graduation sash for you know people or you want to make for yourself and all that, this is how to go about it. So I have my plain pattern paper right here. And the first thing I want to do is to create my border lines. I'm creating my border lines one one inch, one one inch, as you can see. So, right here, I have my line like that. Okay. All right, people, so the width of my uh, sash at the center back, that is what I have right here. I'm using 10 inches for it. It depends on what you want. You can make it 8, you can make it 10. And the length of my sash depends on the round measurements, okay? You can put a tape as if we are making an off shoulder. You just put a tape, a, a tape around your shoulder and sag it a little because the graduation sash is sag a little. It's not really firm. So I'll be working with 47 inches, which is standard. Okay, I'll be dividing my 47 by 2, which is 23 and a half. So I'll just measure my 23 and a half on my uh, pattern paper right now, as you can see. So from the point of my borderline, I measure 23 and a half. So I'm going to extend my line at that point. Of course, there are different kinds of um, sash you can make with different designs. But for the one we have on the thumbnail, that is what I'm actually making right now. All right, so coming over to this part, I'm using four inches or oh, let me use three inches i don't need the sash at the center front so the sash is usually at the this part is usually at the center front and what we have here is at the center back so what i will do now i'll have i have a um, three inches so i'll be dividing what i have on this line Okay, 23. I'll divide it into six sections. That is, I'm measuring from here to here, six inches from here, six inches, and from here, another six inches. So, I'm going to label the first six inches A, B, C, and D. Okay, so remember my measurement right here was three inches. I'll come to the point of... Uh, C meeting D and I'll come down by four inches. I'll come to B and C. I'll come down by five inches. I'll come to B and A point. I'll come down by six and a half. Okay. And then, okay, I will, let me make eight and a half for this. All right. So I'm going to connect what I have for my sash. This is how I'm going to connect my graduation sash. I'll just connect it right here. So I can just freehand it. Okay, if you are not getting exactly what you want right there, you can freehand it from that point 